Hey guys, how are you doing? One of my audience recently shared a screenshot that says temporarily remove apps to install update. When he tries to update to iOS 18.6, he got this error temporarily remove apps to install update. So the message clearly mentions that this device can temporarily remove apps to make the storage available automatically and these apps will be restored once the update is complete. You can either click manage storage to manually verify the apps and its storage level and you can uninstall or you know remove any specific app from the iPhone storage section and if you click on continue it will automatically starts to do the removal of apps something similar to the offload apps feature available within the iPhone iOS system so my suggestion will be navigate inside the manage storage you know to manually check and remove any unwanted data to free up that storage level so the important thing is whenever a major ios update comes to our iphone or ipad and if there is any storage insufficient problem like if your iphone has less than 12 or 15 gb space within the disk then it will automatically require you to remove apps or the data of the apps that you don't want to store on your device. So the offload apps is a feature that normally works, you know, that we can turn it on within the app store, the settings app store section to uninstall any unused apps for a long time, you know, and free up that space. The app's data is the main thing that actually consumes more space, but it just keeps the data as it is so that in future, if you want to install it, there will be a cloud icon prefixed to the app name that you normally see in the home screen. So the offload app feature works in the same way your iPhone and iPad don't have sufficient storage to install the update. I also want to include some additional tips that will help you to manage the storage efficiently. If you're not using iCloud and you know navigate inside the Photos app and manage delete some photos and videos the duplicate photos and videos that you don't want and then navigate inside the recently deleted album and clear all the data from there too then you can check the whatsapp if you're using whatsapp or telegram messenger check how much storage it normally consumes within the whatsapp settings page navigate inside the storage and data and then you can click on manage storage to delete any larger than 5 MB files and you know the forwarded files like good morning, good evening, greetings and other video contents that has been forwarded many times and that is right now occupying some storage space on your device. You can review them and delete any unwanted files and you can scroll down a little bit to check which chats and groups conversations are consuming more amount of space you can navigate inside that specific chat and delete all the unnecessary media content so this way you can free up so much space if you're using whatsapp telegram messenger frequently or any other messaging applications frequently to chat with your friends and group members and one more important suggestion is for an optimal performance of your iphone and ipad make sure to have a free space of at least 10 gb ios is well optimized to run even with lesser storage space it efficiently runs even when you have less storage space but the important thing is take a backup of important data to either iCloud or Google Drive or Google Photos and free up some space on your iPhone to make sure it has 10 GB or little more free on your disk space. So this is why you are seeing the message temporarily remove apps to install update when you try to install any iOS software update on your iPhone and iPad. And I hope the additional tips provided help you to manage the storage efficiently hereafter. Thank you so much for watching. For more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.